Hello and welcome into another edition of the Vegas Square Snippets. In this snippet, we're talking about the hiring of Jeremy Pruitt to the Tennessee Volunteers after what was a tremendous dumpster fire. Um, I guess that's the right word for it. What do you think, Anthony? I mean, I think that's the perfect choice of words to uh, go with that. Jeremy Pruitt's uh, the next football coach at Tennessee. He signed a six-year deal, three point eight million a year with incentives built in. Um. A six million dollar buyout drops a year each, uh, if each following year if he decides to go somewhere else. Comes from Alabama. He's obviously in the Saban coaching tree. Yeah, he's a defensive order coordinator out of that program. Mm-hmm. So he's is he going to? I don't know if I saw it anywhere. Is he going to finish the season at? Yes, uh, he will be with Alabama through the playoff. Okay, so there you go. So he'll be doing that. That's already setting him aside. Uh, that's already setting him back a little bit as far as Tennessee, because Tennessee needs to get going. But I understand, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Yes, it's born in college from fall at the finest. So first, let's look at the timeline. Obviously, there were so many people, choices, candidates that either got hired and then subsequently not, or said no, or took a look and finally, after all that shit, he just. I don't know. It was it was an interesting. You had the Shianos, you had the, the Kevin Sumlins, you had the John Gruden fantasy that all the, the fans had. Uh, they finally settled on Pruitt uh, to replace Butch Jones. <clears throat> uh, my first glance is okay. You know, an Alabama defensive coordinator, an Alabama coordinator, probably a good choice. I look back, you know, it almost seems like these these schools are just setting up Nick Saban for success. I mean, this guy knows all his coordinators. He knows Kirby Smart. He knows Lane Kiffin, who eventually may be in the NF- the SEC again. <clears throat> he has uh, – now he has Jeremy Pruitt. I mean, it, who else? Uh, who's the uh, – Jimbo Fisher's now in the in the SEC. Yeah. It's like, are we just setting Al- Alabama and Nick Saban up? He knows these guys. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, At some point, you got to try something different. I know there's a sense of – if you ain't worked in the SEC, you don't know how the SEC operates. Well, uh, I mean, if you guys are just setting up Nick Saban to say, oh, I know how this guy operates, I know how this guy operates, I know how yeah. this guy operates. I don't know. To me, it just it seems weird. It, it, it kind of hurts Saban with these low-run people leaving him. It seems not have so far in the last decade. Yeah. He just finds another guy. But I think with this one, I think Pruitt's going to take a few guys with him in the move that are working with Alabama right now and potentially – Build a regimen. How, often, how, how, uh, how much time do you give him? It should be three to four years, but who knows with Tennessee with that dumpster fire. Yeah, Lane Kiff, or excuse me, not Lane Kiffin. Uh, Philip Fulmer came in. I thought he was going to hire T. Martin, to be honest with you. I was leaning towards that way, too, and then this kind of hopped out of nowhere. and Not too big of a shocker, but... I mean, he has never been a head coach of any level. He was assistant mid two thousands with Hoover Buccaneers in Alabama. Yeah, he was on that uh, that TV show. I forget the name yeah. of it. Two a days, I think. Two a days, yes, yeah. correct. Yeah, I remember that. I didn't realize that was him. Yeah, cool. I didn't realize um, that he was a part of that. That's pretty cool because that's. I mean, to go from Alabama high school football, Hoover high school. I remember that they were like the most dominant. We played them in in, in high school when I was in high school. Back in Florida. Yeah, so that's that's kind of interesting to think about. He might have been on the sidelines. Um, what years were that, you said? Uh, Mid-2000s, uh, I'm guessing like 06, 08. Well, if it was 06, 08, I missed him, but we played them in 04 and 05. So if he was there then, that would be pretty cool. Oh, here you go. I just read on SB Nation. You probably first heard about the football coach Pruitt while watching MTV. <laughs> so, yeah. Um Yeah, he was a coach in 2005, so he probably was on the sidelines when we played him. That's kind of a weird, small world kind of concept. So. Yes. Interesting. Um, you might have got your two minutes of fame and didn't even realize it. I might have. You never know. Um, the SEC East now has Derek Mason at Vanderbilt, uh, Mark Stoops, I believe he's at uh, Kentucky, Kirby Smart, Will Muschamp, Dan Mullen, and add Pruitt to that. It seems like it's their 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 focus is more on defense. I, I think that would be a good piece of the puzzle for Tennessee to work on right now, and maybe let their offense eventually get to that level. 
Well, I mean, they were 0-8 in the SEC last year, so it can't get any worse. Yeah. Overall, I mean, after what we saw transpire with the list of names, put a grade on, on, on them getting Pruitt. I'll give it a B minus or so. I think it's a home run. You think it's a home run? I think it's a home run. I think somehow, some way, Tennessee still, after crying and being a bunch of bitches, still got their way with a home run. I'm leaning towards more of like a double or maybe a double that led to a triple. <laughs> okay. A reach on an air. Yeah. So, anyways, well, they talked about Jeremy Pruitt's. Congratulations on your new job at Tennessee. This has been another Vegas Square snippet. Tune in for the next one.